Hello and welcome to Jelly TV with me Jack Delaney. Yes, we are finally here at the live shows. It's a live show of one and I love the live shows. This is where we get to see all 13. Yes, I said all 13. They brought back Monica for the wild card, which I'm delighted with because she deserves a chance at the live shows and give it her best to prove to the judges and the audience that she deserves the world card. So now we're at the live shows and we get to see them all perform for the very first time in front of the judges, the crowd and the live viewers at home. They must be so terrified to go on that stage for the very first time. So they've been rehearsing all week together, it's really hard and the mentors have got stuck in now and um, are really moulding them into the artists that they want to show us they are. So we have seen them audition, we've seen boot camp, we've seen the six share challenge and we've seen the live judges houses and now the live shows where any contestant wants to be. You know my favourites, I love Lou Anton, Sean, you know a wide range, fourth impact, I think they are great. So there's some really good contenders that could win the show this year and I still haven't really chose a winner. But watching show one of the live shows um, really gives you an indication of how good they're getting and they're always getting better and better. Also, because it's a live show, Simon Cow treats us to some live music. We had Ben Hay now. I didn't really think much of him. If I was honest, I thought he was drunk. We saw the lovely Ellie Golden, which I've seen her live um, a couple of times. Uh, she didn't really... Um, excite me up the X Factor but who did steal the show was Little Mix they were fantastic welcome back on the X Factor stage yet again with their new song and it was amazing so that was a real treat for us on Sunday night's results show I just want to say a big congratulations to the judges and the newly presenters Ollie Mers and Caroline Flack I thought they'd done an amazing job on Saturday night's live show so shall we get started I have picked my top 5 performances from the first live show of this year's X Factor. I have picked them for different reasons. Here is number 1. First up we have Anton with his mentor Simon Cow. He was singing a lovely emotional ballad by Luther Vandross. Check out his first live show performance. Mason, Mason, Mason. I like this guy, I like his background story and I love his voice, he's just fantastic. And um, the first live show he looks great and he sounded great and um, <laughs> Mason, 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 singing sorry. I think he's got more to come but he's just getting better and better as the, um, the whole show goes on. This is a great song to sing. Then up the stairs he Shut up you would carry me. This is one of the hard songs that everyone knows You just gotta get it right I And I think Anton did Here we go Another Welcome to this year's Joke Factor Hashtag sorry Not Is it too late now to say sorry? Brilliant performance. So that was Anton singing Luther Van Dross at the first Shut Up Mason live show of this year's X Factor. I think that was a solid performance, but there's really more to come from Anton. Next up, we've got the four girls known as Fourth Impact. These surprise me every time they get on the stage. Check out their live performance. On the big Xbox stage. Here we go. And you know these girls are going to come on the show. And I really wanted to see them at the live shows. Singing a great song as well. They look great. I'm glad they are just the more than the same. And their sisters are in a girl band. Uh, need to look right. The vocals are standard. I haven't learnt their names yet, but as a band, they are fantastic. Here we go. 
and I show Nathan Dad, which I'm about to go for my girl back, and I put them on a real show for us and um, fans, especially the judges. I think Cheryl Crow has done a really good job on performing this week and gave them the right song, the right look, and um, the voice just smashed it. I look at them, wow. They certainly got the whole package and I think they're going to go far in this competition. With the right song and the right um, night, it's going to be theirs. Wow. See, so when you think they've got everything, they come out and rap and just throw everything at us each week. And um, if they can keep doing this throughout the live show as well, you know, they could win the whole show. They're fantastic. So that was fourth impact of their first live show performance. Wow. Love this. Next up, we've got one of my favourites, and I really think this girl could win the no, whole show. The youngest in the competition, but I think she's got one of the best voices in the competition. It's Louisa. Check out this girl. She is fantastic. I truly believe this girl can really win the show. The right song, she just matches it. And she looks fantastic. I don't think this is the right song for her this week because, you know, she's a young girl, give her a young song. Uh, but just to show us what she's about and her vocals, I think this was, um, you know, a safe song to show off her voice. If you should ever believe me, then life will still go on, believe me. And as it gets going, you can see the why I'm not sure she has chosen to me. And in that dress, and that dress the right she just has to stick. And I can't believe she's so young. Throughout the competition, especially at um, the Six Chair Challenge, she really got going. They showed us her powerful vocals that she can really stick. And now that she keeps doing that, she can really win the show. I truly believe that. I mean, she always has really got something special fantastic performance on so one of my favourites. I look forward to seeing her throughout the live show. I think she's going to stick around for a long time. Once Louisa is singing for the first time in her life. Next up, we got Max Stone. Now, people don't really get him because they say he's boring. Max but the ex had it as well, the boys. He's certainly got the boys. He's done a very good twist on an Adele cover. Um, check out this. It is amazing. Um, on a special. Amazing choice by Simon Cowell. Great. Here we go. We all know this song. It's been played on the radio millions of times. But this version was something special. And um, if he keeps pulling tricks like this out of his sleeve with Simon, um, I think he could be a dark horse in this dark competition. A great sort of reggae take on a well known song. And if you strip it all back like Simon has, um, his voice, he's got the voice that's uh, the most important thing in my eyes. And I love his tone. I love it. Simon's got a lot of hard work to put into Max Stone, showing us um, his, uh, you know, who is Max Stone in the character. And it's alright showing us a good performance, but I really like to get to know the person who's singing and why should we vote. We really need to get to know him, so we need to work on that. But um, he's definitely got the voice. And that was um, Max Stone doing a good twist on the band. Finally, it's one of the uniquest bands we've actually seen on the X Factor for a long time. Single one of my all-time favourites, just to get into it like I see. It's Alien Uncovered. Check out their first live show performance. Different, but I liked it. 
here we go. And you know they're gonna come to the be colourful. Singing one of my favourite songs of all time. We got covers, we got colours, we got dancers, we got everything here for me. This is a, a good, fantastic band on Cheryl's hands. And um, what are we to say now? Um, I don't know why they left the competition, but um, that's it. That's what they have. I wish they were all the best for the um, I love this one. It's just them. They're British. They are unique. Um, I'm putting all that together. Wow, that's fantastic. And they got the lips. They got everything in my eyes. I think that's what they are. The girl band industry. And let alone just the man. Something new. So that was it, I've chosen my top 5 auditions from the first live week on The X Factor. There were some incredible performance and really different um, performances throughout um, the live show. I couldn't choose them all, you know, I love Sean's and I love Che Chester's performances. And they were too fantastic um, on the night. But I really love Louisa and I think she can go far in this competition. Um, what I will say about the uh, first live show of this year's brand new series of The X Factor is um, I wasn't too keen on the song choices the judges have picked for their uh, contestants. And, um, you know, it was a bit cringy at times, uh, the song choices and the performances. And um, some bits, you know... The choice in the stage layout and the uh, the costumes needed uh, thinking. But um, there you go. That was the first uh, live shows of the X Factor. Please hit me up on uh, everything social to tell me what you thought about um, the first live shows. And um, I'd love to hear from you. Very disappointed the first week Alien Uncovered went. I think they were a really unique well British, uh, well thought out band that really had the looks and had the voice and um, in the bottom two was um, Kira as well I thought she would be in the bottom um, she's done an okay performance but I don't think people get to her yet and um, being so young she needs to come um, into the competition uh, more hard and show us what she's about so um, yeah, but she was saved and she's got a tough um, a tough week ahead of her, you know, working on her performance and showing us on uh, week two why um, she deserved to be saved. And uh, yeah, so we are moving quickly on to live show two, and I really look forward to um, this week. I think it will be interesting. Now they've settled down, they've got used to being on stage. I think um, they're going to really pull everything out of the bag to show us why they deserve to win this year's X Factor. And every contestant wants us to vote for them. So they really need to prove why they deserve our votes. I think Simon Cow has really got a hard job on his hands working with the Overs. And I think Rita Aura really needs to get the right songs for them girls to show off 100% of their voice and talent. Because the girl category this year is amazing and um, I really think Rita Aura could really steal the show this year. I hope you enjoyed my live one review of this year's X Factor. I know I have. I love making these videos and I hope you love watching them. Please, if you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Stay tuned because I'm doing these videos all the way up to the live finals. Um, I love the X Factor and I can't wait for show two of the live shows. So please stay tuned. You've been watching JDTV with me, Jack Delaney. Take care.